Hi, I'm Eric D'Amato. And I'm, I'm going to be sitting here playing my bazooka. And welcome back <laughs> to Mind Breakers. Yeah, the, the show that doesn't allow bazooki music on it. Shut up. I'm surprised you didn't play any. <laughs> We're going to uh, bring up our uh, classic wheel now in three, two, one. Bam! This is a I, an icon, the iconic, this is, this my, classic, iconic mind breakers wheel. This is the classic wheel. All of the all of the the new wheels flavor, but like, but more, but more of it. But more, but half the fat, <laughs> less cholesterol, <laughs> spinach, but more trans fat. We put extra trans fat. Zero in the trans fats. What? Oh dear! Right here. Oh my god! <laughs> What? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh I'm fucking. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. I can't even. Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical oh, adventure. Raggedy what? Ann and Andy leave their playroom to rescue Babette, a beautiful French doll kidnapped by a pirate. Why did we have to be now? Why? Why did. Why, God? Why do you punish us so? <laughs> Let's watch this. You're not ready for this. No. I'm not ready for this. That should make what the fuck are we going to do? Here's what America's toughest critics say about scenes from Raggedy Ann and Andy. Terrific. Really, really good. The music got to me in a very certain way. Raggedy Ann and Andy is a new musical adventure released by 20th Century Fox. If you think it's just a story about dolls, you're in for a surprise. It's very exciting. Watch out, Welcome to Looney Land. <laughs> that big ghouly I think with eating all that candy. I am the greedy. I like all the parts the best. Welcome, my bitch. Welcome, my bitch. <laughs> and blue. Raggedy Ann and Andy has enough fun and excitement for everyone in the family. It's the musical adventure that has the critics raving. I would give it 11 stars. Rated G. 21 songs. 21. This movie had 21 goddamn songs. 21 times they broke out into horrible, horrible screeching noises. Except Andy. He was, he, his singer was pretty good. He was the best But the songs singer. coming out of him still sucked. He's still not my favorite character, though. No. And uh, oh fuck! I didn't. I didn't like this movie. It, I didn't like this characters in these movies. This these t- characters in this movies. So I didn't want. I didn't like it. But I did like one character. We because. begin with unfortunately for any cartoon live action anime live action. Of course, where there's a stupid little girl coming home from school. Going and she's and it sees a girl in the seventies lugging around a doll and it's shot in eighties in seventies film stock. So my immediate thought is, well, it's a horror movie because that's the only kind of movies I watch from that era. It looks like the opening of Halloween. Yeah, that really does. And it brings about just as many nightmares. More actually, yeah. Oh fuck. So um. Partially the reason that this movie is made of so much fucking nightmare is uh, every character has a different animation. Yes, that is the problem. Every character, except for a few that like background characters who are all done by the same person, each one has... I thought it was voice actors, but no, it's a da-da-da, animated by blank. Yep. That's, that's insane. Basically every character. Every... Fucking character. So the art. So we have a bunch of work. So we have a bunch of clashing art styles. Everyone moves differently. Yep. And it's just because there's one guy who's freaking the the uh, the old farmer made of corn. Yeah. He's rotoscoped. Yeah. And he's the only one, and it's very very scary because he moves like normal human. Yeah, it's kind of distracting. <laughs> then there are the two hell dolls. Oh God, no. <laughs> These okay. These two. These two dolls. They're they're black. They're black dolls. But first, um, um of these we'll, two girls. We'll we'll get to them to full yeah. description when they are when we introduce them. Um, uh, we we get. So the little girl has a birthday party, I guess, and she's put down and she puts the doll in her room. Yep. 
So the dolls are talking. There's a creepy as there's so there's Raggedy Ann. Yep. There's a well, as I said, there's the old hermit corn man. Yeah. There's a weird pin cushion that sews up dolls. There's and there's a four armed Jewish man with a wheel. Yeah, who he has tools shit. in his hat. Yeah. And there's then there's a like scary as fuck. The slinky jester? Yeah, the cl- weird slinky jester. <laughs> that thing scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> this thing does multiple horrifying things. Like wrap people in its arms, but like their tentacles. Yeah. There's and also like, a pirate on a ship with a parrot in a snow globe. Yeah, like doing the snake along the ground. Just like fucking... And there's a, a snake made of socks that lives in a shoe. Yep. So they found out that so they're ta- asking Raggedy Ann about how the real world is. We get the first of many songs. <laughs> she, then we get, then we get the two creepy ass dolls introduced, and they always every time they 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 say anything, they sing it, and they do a little dance. And at the end of at the end of every song, they go ooh, ooh and their eyes do a, like a full roll thing. Yeah, it's they go scary. Like, ooh. And they just like their eyes fucking spin, and they're 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 like all like they're both like in synchronization with each other, but like they still oh my god, it's just, it's, it's bad. It's not appealing at all. <laughs> it's like they have very annoying voices, also Raggedy Ann especially. Uh, some other stuff happens, but then they find that uh, there's a box. Oh, Raggedy Ann likes getting banged around. Did you bounced know that? around the line? Banged around. <laughs> Fine, be wrong. It's like, I do get banged around quite a bit. <laughs> hey, come on, if there's any little enjoyment from that, it was... No, like, no enjoyment was, in this movie. There, uh, there was a slight enjoyment. Not allowed. There's a couple of stupid things that I did laugh at. That, like, I feel like other people can laugh at too, but it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that trying to explain the plot of this movie plot point by plot point... You know what, I'm not sure if I want to recommend idea. this or not. Would you? <laughs> I mean, it's not good, but it's just worth the watch for the sheer what the fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, it, yeah, sure, I wouldn't... Oh, fuck, it's not a good movie by any stretch. But it's worth watching just to see how insane... We skipped, gets. like, all of the review before we get to the recommendation part, dude. It's okay. So they it's find fine. Raggedy Andy under a box. Yeah. He sings... Then they find and he's just like, yeah, he's stuck under this thing, I, I guess, for like a couple of minutes. His like feet are sticking out like the Wicked Witch of the West. East. East. East? Well, the, the east is the one the house falls on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. The west is the, I'll get you, my pretty. There and there's a dog, too. Yeah, I fucked that up. <laughs> it's okay. Um, But, uh, yeah, it's it just gets weirder from here. Uh, they they open the box inside is a French doll called Babette, who's apparently beautiful, even though she looks like freaking Chucky. Yeah, she looks horrifying. <laughs> and she's like, she's the the little kid. Uh, what's her name again? Uh, Mar- Marcella. Marcella. There it's her birthday go. gift. This character's a fucking bitch, and she has the. I mean, if you if you have to have your character be French, yeah. Make sure you have an actor working for you who can do a French accent. She she's doing a really bad French accent. It's awful, and she sings, and it's the it's she's the worst singer in the movie. Yeah, because the like this vibrato. Fuck, she's she the worst up. character in the movie. Sounds like Celine Dion on fucking Quaaludes. Yep. <laughs> she she's she's not completely incompetent though, because she ends up using her singing and prowess to. Take over the ship. We'll get to that. Later. Yeah, but that mean makes her the villain. I think is of the movie. One of the villains of the movie. <laughs> well, she might as well be. She was doing a better job than the other one. So um, the the captain sees her in the yep. snow globe. The captain, by the way, is, is attracted by her. Yeah, the captain. Uh, he looks like Doctor. He's Captain Robotnik. Yeah, he's 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 Captain Robotnik of the the bum, SS bum, in bum, the snow bum, globe. Bum, 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 <laughs> he lives bum, inside the snow bum, globe for like fifty seven years. Bum, Was it thirty seven? I think it's a family heirloom. Yeah, for like thirty seven years. And then finally, of like after all this time, today is the day he wants to leave. So he can fuck the doll. Yep. So they let him, he, uh, they knock the snow globe, they cut a hole in the snow globe and he escapes. He gets Raggedy Ann yes. to get the, the four-armed, uh, Jewish Geppetto yeah. to basically open up the, the fucking snow globe and take him out. 
Mm. Oh, God. Why? Why? Now of all times. It's like, yeah, sure, let's fuck up this little girl's birthday party, because the fuck not. So he kidnaps the doll. Yep. Bad, bad. He gets us to bed. Because, you know, he has... He has so Raggedy and Andy are like, Raggedy Ann and Andy are like, oh, took him into the woods. Gotta <laughs> go, gotta go rescue the doll. He gets out. The room, like, floods, apparently. Somehow. There's that much yeah. water in the snow globe. He and the doll, the who's, the, and the, who's the same size as a little girl, is somehow one of the smaller characters. Yep. In the playroom, it's just... This movie makes no sense. Because, mm. like, all of the shit that they end up doing here, that doesn't happen in real life. No, nothing is real. Nothing he- real. Nothing is real. But yet, they're all outside, you know? Mm. This has all happened. They're going places. They're obviously moving. We're not going places. We didn't go nowhere. <laughs> no. We went to get noodles. Yeah. Because so right. we needed a break. We had to. So, they, as they're going on their quest, they sing more, something about a paper flower. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> then they meet a camel? Yeah. Who's following ghost camels in the sky. <laughs> he just... He, he his eyes, his eyes flash rainbow, yeah. and he, ha- he hallucinates camels in the sky singing about home. They're all going to the moon, I think. <laughs> Those camels, they came from the moon. Now you have to play one of the most boring online games. <laughs> Because no one else is playing it. It has a wonderful plot, but it's not in the actual Oh, yeah, game. Babette goes la, 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 la. I fucking hate Babette. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, the way that Raggedy Ann moves, she basically tectonics everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's like most people in this movie. They just fucking tectonic battle everywhere. <laughs> so they team up with the camel. It's like, hey, you can stay with us and you can be our buddy. And it's like, okay, but oh, i got to catch the camels. Get on my back. I'm going to go be with the other camels. So they ride off a cliff. <laughs> he just fucking starts, like, following all the camels flying into the sun. And they're like, you don't know where you're going. You're like, just... I don't off. care! They fall off a cliff and land in a pit of goop. Not just goop. The greedy! The greedy, but... The greedy is a giant, fat guy... Made of... It, who reminds you of the great mighty poo. Made of... Whipped cream and all sorts banana of candy. butterscotch. All Wait, what was it? And Whipped cher- cream and, and cherry banana, banana taffy. taffy. There we go. So he actually is one of the more interesting to look at characters in the movie. Yeah, because he's 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 I think the best animated. Yeah, just because there's so much going on. Well, no, I find he's the weirdest animated. Well, he's the trippiest. He uh, definitely. He is. You know when you know what he is. Uh, he and his song. I think we're going to show you from the movie right here. You can give me candy, cotton candy, chocolate bar, oh lollipop. Fill me up on ice cream, dripping fudge sauce, butterscotch and nuts that never stop. Feed me globs and gushes of your most delicious stuff. But without a sweet heart, I never get enough. No, that's my said. Pardon me. Oh, dear. Oh, squash me a banana, drowned in jelly, tutti fruity by the score. Marzipan and pastry, drenched in butter, caramel and gingerbread galore. I can gorge forever, but I'm just an empty shell. <laughs> And without a sweet heart, I don't feel so well. <laughs> Pardon me, please. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're sorry about your predicament, Mr. Greedy. I'm Raggedy Ann, and this is my brother Andy, and this is our friend the camel. With a wrinkled knees. How do you How do you do? <laughs> Excuse me. We fell into your taffy pit by accident, so if you'll kindly let us go, we'll be on our way. Well, why Why do you have to leave? Cause we gotta rescue a friend from some. Pirates. So if you'll just let us go. No. Excuse me. No, you see, you don't understand. You must help me find a sweetheart. I cannot go on living like this. Oozing. Where's the sugar pop to stop this misery? Oozing. Is this 
endless eating all there is to be or not to be. Melt me a tortoni sabayoni glazed with soggy alava. Peanut butter custard, baked Alaska, miracles of food from near and far. There's not one delight I haven't tried, but life's too rough, oh dear. Cause without a sweetheart, I never get enough. <laughs> never get enough. <laughs> never get enough. <laughs> I don't know what this is. That's, that was a weird ass scene, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> you just watched the movie, too. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's the best one. <laughs> so they, the greed is like. So I'm looking. I, he says the whole thing about the sweetheart. So do you uh, know where I can find a sweetheart? Oh yeah, he sings the song. Yeah. Well, who and, are you? And he's like, I would I... like to eat a sweetheart. And it's like. So that, that sounded different. That sounded like Fern guy, like the, the lizard. Like, if I'm gonna eat somebody, might, might as, as well, well be. You. That's Tone Lock. Yeah. Or Tony Loki or whatever. But, like, that's essentially the song. Slam! Oh, the, what else works with this scene? What? Slam beneath me. <laughs> oh! Slam up above. It does work. Ooh, you'll love my... Toxic love. <laughs> <laughs> gully. Uh, Yo, the name is Batty. No! We're not doing erratic. this right now. <laughs> but, Potato in the jacket. Birds in the attic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, Let's they have another have one. This Bring thing. me another animal. <laughs> they have the fucking this this big ass. This greedy, movie which just, just then abused me, battered and bruised me. So uh, Raggedy Ann brings up, I'm just a little rag doll with a candy heart. Oops. It's like candy heart. <laughs> Like, Chocolate! She would pay any attention to this fucking music. She would have heard the fucking... It's like, oh, he wants to eat a candy heart. Don't say that shit. So she tries to kidnap him, but they s escape the yep. pit. No, he tries to kidnap them, but he es they escape the pit. Yep. And now they go somewhere? They go to... Uh, right, this is when they, they, they the crawl. They, they start to, like, crawl out of the... Yeah, through, the through the all the chocolate. And then they drop, like, fucking whipped cream cherry banana taffy on him. Yeah. And he basically gets crushed. He gets crushed under his own weight and then starts eating himself. It's actually kind of fucking... It's essentially auto-cannibalism. It's really fucking disturbing. It's fucking auto-cannibalism. Oh, yeah, by the way, the camel is blue. Mm. And he mentions, like, being, like, sad and blue. A lot. And I'm just like, oh, so he's got blue balls then. Well, they gave they, they they gave him the two humps, but they never gave him a dick. Never gave him the ball. <laughs> they gave him the balls. They gave him the dick. So he's blue balled forever. Wait, maybe his head's the dick. He does look oddly phallic. <laughs> if you if you take a look at this camel, you'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> uh. Hey, hey, every hey, hey, they all they all fucks weird. They all fucks funny. Everybody fucks funny. Thanks. So the movie's kind of forgotten its plot of capture of find of saving Babette from the pirate. Yep. Um, <laughs> she basically she just like straight up. So just, they end up in Looney. They end up in a place called Loon, and they meet Looney Land, and they meet this weird ass knight. Oh yeah, this motherfucker who. It's like, oh, this is where all the practical jokes in the world come from. He's and we're going to test them all on you. He's wearing a knight's helmet. He's the got, like, why is that I love you. And then we get his song. A big shitty mustache. <laughs> and then what might be the trippiest the fucking second, scene. Okay, the second he showed up, though, this, this fucking this weirdo, yeah. we both screamed. <laughs> We both fucking screamed in fear. And then he shoots a little gun with a flag pop out of it. It says, says help me. No, you need help. Yes, which is pretty much this movie. You need help. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we kind of do, I guess. We definitely need help. Yeah, that we do. He's, he's like, you're in Looney Land. 
<laughs> and then he sings, and then we get the tr- the black and white scene yeah. where Raggedy Ann and Andy try to oh, talk, yeah, the but they just make car Land. sounds. Yeah, the rules of Looney Land, by the way, are once you go in, you can never leave. What? what? <laughs> it's, it, it's basically Escape from New. <laughs> this movie's now become Escape from Looney Land. <laughs> Raggedy Andy loses one of his eyes. Yep. <laughs> how about a little? How about, how about a little Looney Land rules? <laughs> no one should draw us till this hits the ground. <laughs> oh god, that would be a better movie, I think. Oh yeah, and they cut through the Haha ha Mall because to mm-hmm. run away from the crazy bastard, which puts them in the fucking mind mind trip. It's it's like it just goes black and white, and they make car sounds and they, make, and they talk. Yeah, they make it like rrr, 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 <laughs> fucking sounds whenever they're trying to talk. Oh yeah, and then they get like chased down by I guess some guy over a PA system. Yep, He's which like, is it's the, but it is it's the Looney Knight. Oh, is it? No, because the eye. Oh yeah, yellow. Well, he's like going around with like I guess is a periscope. Yeah, around yeah. The yeah. And then they, that was a creepy. Then they're taken to the court of King Cuckoo. Yep. Wait, who is He's a favorite character because he's essentially. Yeah, he's kind of like me. You're green hair and shit. Yeah, he's a green... <laughs> ma- he's, there's a bunch of weirdo creatures laughing. Yeah. And then there's a king. We get another song, of course. A, a king on a giant throne. King Cuckoo. He should have had the three Ks. Yeah. <laughs> then it would have had it... Well, I think they, that's why they didn't, because the KKK was so strong. In the of course. They're not going to fucking have a character named KKK. King Cuckoo. Well, like, he is show, KKK. Yeah, but like they're not going to show the KKK. So he's sitting. Like he's in a king KKK. robe, a crown... Big green hair and what we think is a green mustache. Yeah. But then we see that it's not green and it's, it's like, not it's not connected. They're actually coming out of his nostrils. Yeah, it's just straight up coming out. I'm like, it looks like solidified schnott. <laughs> so he's like, I could all. He's German. Oh yeah, and he's tiny. He's tiny and German. Yes. And he, he's a tiny German dictator. Who does that make you think of? Uh, <sighs> Stalin. That's Russian. Here. I know. <laughs> Take a P off of that. <laughs> no, add a P to that. Add a P. Prussian. Prussian. German, Germany, Russia. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I can only be big if I yeah, laugh at other awesome people. people. So they, there's but a big everybody pie th- laughs at him. Yeah, but the, then there's a big pie throwing fight. Uh, yeah, because they have to make him, they have to leave by making him laugh so much. So they escape in a. Oh, yeah, and he mentions the royal pudding and a bunch of other phallic shit. Yeah. <laughs> so they they escape on a um, Prince of Canada is putting a hand in the pudding. Yeah, as per tradition. <laughs> oh yeah, the camel fucking gets on his back at one point. He's got fucking a pie in each limb. Yeah. He's just throwing fucking four pies. Yep, that happened. <laughs> it was just like, it just happens like out of nowhere. This this movie was fucking all over the place. Oh god. What happens next? Um, so they have the pie fight. Yeah. They're fucking everybody throwing pie all over. Everyone the dies. Everybody does. So Raggedy Ann, Andy, Andy, and the Campbell and escape, the Campbell. and they find because they find a boat, a <laughs> weird ass. It looks like it should fly, given cartoon logic. It's got it wings, wings, yeah, but it can't. It's like a little ship, <laughs> or they with can't like sails and wings. And oh, bo- okay, I'll accept that. Maybe face. Andy can't figure out how to fly it because he's not fucking cuckoo. He's not nuts enough to figure this thing out. I called it the Nightmare Wing Ship. It is. <laughs> and then Babette's the cap, the captain. Yeah. And she's going to Paris so she sings and does the can can. Oh. And then we cut to the captain who sings about being friends with his parrot. <laughs> before that. But happens, the king though. calls Gazooks. Yeah. Before that. The happens. king of the deep. <laughs> it's this creepy fucking, like, muck monster. It's a squid. It, it's a head tie beast. It's a head tie beast. We'll call it, uh, it the he's Dugin like, Kraken. Yeah, he's like, R- you must be released. Gazooks. Go kill this thing. And he's like, I will have the greatest laugh of them all. The last, last laugh. laugh. So you've ex- you've escalated to murder. Wonderful. Yep. But <laughs> He's just accepted his place in the universe as a homo- homicidal maniac. So, as, as I have. <laughs> so Raggedy Ann and Andy get to the ship. Rescue. Yeah. Uh, they, they don't rescue the captain yet. Because Bobette's, like, pretty much saved herself. But She's get, got the like, captain in the fucking I don't want to go back to that fucking playroom. Yeah. Tie these fuckers up. <laughs> so, Bobette's our villain, though. I, I still say You're My Friend is the worst song in this fucking movie. I give it to Bobette's song, because she's the worst singer. 
Uh, no, I, I I still say you're my friend because yeah. just the fucking parrot's voice is the most annoying thing. Not as annoying as Babette's. Still, it's really fucking annoying. Just them back and forth. You're my friend. You're my friend. Fucking pissed me off. <laughs> uh, um. So, uh, this is what happens when people animate in the seventies when an animation studio that isn't Disney tries to do something. Yep. Uh, uh, so, uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy get on the ship. And they yeah, and they get tied up. We, we said yeah, this. they get tied up. And, and then, then g- Bazook just comes, you know, comes in, and then the king's water sk- water, water ski behind, behind him, him yeah. and having fun. He should do this more often, frankly. And, and he's he's laughing, legitimately laughing. But then like, his little parts are popping. Yeah, up. he's like, dude, he's just <laughs> yeah, before, dude, just water ski now, man. Yeah, before actually, when he was laughing at uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy getting the pies thrown at him, uh, it shows like him expanding in different little parts. Yeah, what, what, it starts uh, off with his hand. Then it goes to his ears, his head. Then I'm like, then I'm like, watch it go to his like cock or something. Next. It goes it to just, his ass. It just goes straight to his ass. <laughs> like McDonald's food. Yep. And then just he gets expanded. But uh, yeah, he's like water skiing, and like he's actually getting expanded a little bit, somewhat. So like he should just take up a hobby. So, <laughs> um, uh, somehow the ca- the uh, pirate gets out. Yeah, yeah, Captain gets out somehow. And rescues Raggedy Ann and Andy. <laughs> King Cuckoo fucking crashes into the side of the ship. And, and, falls and falls into the, the sea. And I'm just like, well, he's, he's like, dead. dead. <laughs> he fucking should have, though. So Kazoo needs more attacks, of a body count. The Kraken attacks the ship. Yeah. And the king starts laughing. Because <laughs> he's tickling. Because the Kraken... Uh, the Kraken's tickling them. Yeah, he just... The Kraken just gets his tentacles and just, like... He just starts grabbing up motherfuckers off the ship. My, like, most notably, like, Anne and, uh, and Bobette. Mm. And they just get, like, tickled, which is essentially, like... It's it's kind of hentai. It's, it's hentai, right? And then, uh... <laughs> it's tentacle for it. Then, what, the, the Crimson... Not the Crimson King. Um, the King grows super massive... Yeah, King Cuckoo just like, becomes the biggest thing in the universe. So, he Apache chiefs. Yes. <laughs> and he becomes Okay, the way he's changing, he more Tetsuos. He does Tetsuo. <laughs> he goes full Tetsuo. He he becomes like fucking like like he gets like the power cosmic. Ha 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 Who pops him, by the way? He just fucking Andy. Boom. Andy pops him and he dies. <laughs> he just fucking explodes. And so it, it goes all trippy and then we're live action. Oh yeah, I am the biggest king! <laughs> and then it goes all trippy again and we're in the real world and they're in a, yep. pu- and they're in a pond and the little girl finds him yeah. and takes him home. This was the moment but where... But she leaves the camel buried in dead leaves yeah. being sad. That was the moment though, like, like literally like the part of explosion. Uh, like upon explosion I was just like... Wait a second, like, when, when the fuck was all this shit happening? None of it happened. Like, where, where is, is this real? Is this, where, where is this, like, because obviously they, they end up being outside, yep. in a puddle, in the leaves. How, what the fuck actually happened? How did they get out if they can't, if they're not real? Exactly. How, how the fuck? It just, it makes no sense. No, not a spot. And then, um... Not, not even the littlest bit. I want, I want some sort of explanation for this shit. You, no. <laughs> what? No. Marcella finds them. Finds them, brings them back in. <laughs> um, the camp, and everyone's happy, and they're dancing. When the, when they get back, like, we say Babette, and Babette for, apologized for being yeah, a bitch. they find Babette, they find... And somehow the captain... Right, yeah, they find Andy, and they find the captain... Ship and then like. some bullshit happens, and uh, uh, the the camel boom. gets left out in the cold. Alone. But the camel gets brought brought inside, comes inside. Well, like he goes to the window, mm. and like he sees all of them just like jack Abby. fucking around. Uh, apparently, <laughs> because he kidnapped and tried to rape her, the captain now is rewarded with getting to fuck the. Best. Yeah, she's like, "Oh, that was very romantic of you." It's like, no, it wasn't. He's fucking drunk. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's how that works. Fuck, I should get a pirate ship. <laughs> okay, chicks do love pirate ships. Yeah. But hey, if I can... <laughs> you know what? 
Fucking Bill Cosby should get a pirate ship. <laughs> no, Bill Cosby. Because then he would be a No, he'd need, need a space. He'd need a spaceship. He would need a spaceship. Yes, so he can he can Captain Kirk around the universe. Space Ghost Dad. Yes. I still love the fact that the camera was left cold and alone outside. And he gets brought through the window. The uh, the little girl Marcella walks in and she picks up Raggedy Ann, Andy, and the camel and just looks at them and then that's it. And the movie's over. And then that's it. This was... No happy birthday, whatever the fuck. This movie was fucking nuts. (laughs) Happy birthday. Mula, 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 mula. That's Common Rider. Uh, Happy birthday is Common Rider. Ah, after a thousand years, I'm free. That's your my friend. You're my friend. <laughs> you are deformed. I am deformed. And, and you, you are, are ugly. ugly. And I'm am ugly. And there's I a crime for which the friend. world has little pity. I'm you do not comprehend. <laughs> Fuck this moment. Yes, I. What do you give this? Okay, I'm gonna give it. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna look through my little notes to see what I can. What it would be? Oh, well, there's something I wanted you to write down. What, what? was it? Uh, early, early, earlier. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, I did write it. Where the fuck is was it? That? Ghost camels in the sky? I think it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, I think it was ghost camels in the sky. <laughs> Well, read out what you have written down. This is going to probably be interesting. Okay, uh, from the beginning? Yeah. Okay, this is going to be a while. Just for the movie. Yeah, just for this one. Yeah. We've we've gone through that. this actually pretty quick. Yeah, was, I mean, you have to see it yourself. That's the thing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I wrote down that this was uh, made in 76. Mm-hmm. Uh, right again. Uh, bus pulls up. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> Yeah, it has a school bus. <laughs> it's a big yellow school bus. It's just, you know, we're going to school today. Uh, she gets banged around. Uh, oh, yeah, chopping at the piano. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just <laughs> right here yeah, with real karate chop action. <laughs> she starts, like, playing the piano for her first fucking song, and you're like, she doesn't have fingers. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's probably just fucking karate chopping at the... She's playing chopsticks. <laughs> Shanghai, Hong Kong. Not allowed, that's too Shang- communism. Shanghai, Hong Kong, Ig Fu Young. Fortune, Fortune cookie, cookie always, always wrong. wrong. <laughs> everybody! Everybody! Every- was this more or less biz- biz- Okay, no, this was fucked up. Felony was just dark. Yeah. <laughs> this was this was a little bit more pleasant, at least. But this is also more insane. Yeah. At least Felony was grounded in a reality. Yeah. Not reality, but it had a cohesive reality. Indeed. Oh, fuck. Misery, misery, misery. Better than the Gumby movie? That's that's asking a lot of me, Merrick. That's asking a lot of me. <laughs> that's like... That's like saying would I rather Japanese water torture or bamboo under the fingernails. Which would you rather? The water torture. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll hook you up. Okay. Although if I was, like, legitimately not giving a fuck about my hands, I would just be like, fuck it, the, 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 the bamboo. Bamboo one at least seems quicker. I guess. But then again, like... I don't understand, with si- like, in, in Daredevil, yeah. with the scene with Stick, they don't have the magic Daredevil powers, right? They can't tell when you're where you're lying. Where are they? Uh, Queens in 48th. Mm-hmm. Can I go now? Thank you. Just lie. <laughs> that's but that's not what we're talking about today. No. Instead, we're talking about Raggedy Ann and Andy falling out the window and Andy asking, where's my foot? Oh, yeah, that was a line. <laughs> where's my foot? Where's my foot? Because <laughs> they're all just walking around on their fucking, like, on their fucking cabs. <laughs> where's my hands? Where are my hands? <laughs> They're they're literally walking around on like their calves and their fucking yep. thighs. They and move shit. weird. They move real weird. Oh my god! They get out into the fucking dark forest, and, what? Oh. and Andy's like, "I'm not scared." Which is like, "Me, so no scared." 
Misa gonna find the, the, the French doll and do the... <laughs> oh yeah, the, na- the nasally voices. That's just for Anlo. Yep. Well, like, oh, quite, okay, quite a few of them do have nasally fucking voices. True, but not Andy. Yep. That's true. Uh, oh yeah, the camel melting. <laughs> yep, melting camel. <laughs> <laughs> the camel just deflates at random moments. Yeah, his his ass has a mind of its own. <laughs> yeah, it just turns into like he just like sinks into the floor like the fucking uh, like the one girl in that fucking weed commercial. It's like she's sitting in the chair and she'll just like fucking she just deflates into the chair like a fucking pop. What weird co- weed commercial? I'll show you it after this. Like I will, I will fucking show you. Uh, People will know what. Get I mean. the scores over with so we can stop. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them uh, five. Uh, five drugged out camels. Wonderful. Out of a total of seven, the greedies. <laughs> I'm gonna give it two nights. Out of what the fuck trip out scene? <laughs> Which one? The the one that's attached to the night. That whole shit? That whole shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck it, that one should go in there, too, because this review is like 36 minutes long. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it here at the end. Okay. Well, it'll come after. Uh, you can watch if you like. If not, just close the video after we say goodbye. So, I'm American Battle. And I've been thoroughly, thoroughly just driven mad. And we'll see you all next week. So here's uh, the clip we told you about. Enjoy! <laughs>